Hi, living in Boulder Vlog for the 16th of January, 2017. I mean, 2021. I think it's Friday or Saturday. Right now it's Sunday, so it was just for Saturday. So, yeah. Um, kind of barely did it in time or didn't do it in time. But that's for yesterday, yeah. So I'll do it for tomorrow, whenever I get up. Um, I was just working. That's why I didn't do my video. I was just working. Uh, oh, yeah, turn comments back on for the children. So what happened was yesterday I get up. Oh, yeah, I got to sleep night last night or night before last last night. The eve of the 15th. And um, get to sleep. Yeah, I kind of got to sleep early so that I could get up because we had to go to the bank with my mom. And so he... Yeah, I did get up. I was able to get up on time and go to the bank at 10.30 with my mom and took her thing. And, and then, oh, yeah, my roommate and friend. And so then we went over to Burger King after I got some burgers. And she dropped us back here, and I, um, I uh, continued working all day long. So didn't go to the gym oh, yeah, with my mom, but I did go yesterday. Or day before yesterday. Yeah, and day before yesterday, when I did go to the gym, I I did a leg press with four plates on each side because I was doing three sets of ten with three plates on each side. And, um, I mean, I did it. I had the strength. You know, I did it kind of fast. I wasn't like I was taking my time with it. But I did it, like, fast and... Um, but then I tried to do another set of 10, which is three. And I couldn't do it. Like, I had to stop at, like, three because my right knee hurt too much. I blew out my knee on the four plates. So that's, like, the danger, you know, when I get back in shape. Like, even though I don't have any strength, <laughs> I still have enough strength my muscles to be stronger than my tendons and hurt my tendons and do damage for a, less a long time, if not forever. So I have to remind myself, you know, not to lift too much weight, just to be a sissy. Yeah, especially with my legs. Because I couldn't even walk up the stairs today, right? Because my knee couldn't do it. That's my right knee. Usually it's my left knee, so... Um, and I think I felt some pains in my back. You know, I could get some fucking weird pain. If I take, if I try to lift too much, I have to make sure to get into it real slowly. So, um, anyway, um, yesterday, so then I came back and I was working all day today. Um, on this, yeah, because I'm, 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 I'm just in building mode right now. Like, just, just... Time warp, just... <laughs> Try not to think of anything but what I'm doing. Because what I'm doing is super time consuming. It's, it's like a project in itself. I'd start out with... I wanted to patch all the buildings in, in uh, Boulder County to make it look natural. But then I said, okay, now I have to ride all the uh, trails. But then it's kind of getting bigger. All the trails you do in one day in Boulder. And, you can, and so now I'm doing all of the ones in... Uh, Winter Park, because I know I <laughs> notice that Winter Park has all these single track trails going down. In the summer, you can ride the bike, the trail up or the lift up, and there's like all these trails going down, jumps and everything. It's amazing. So I want to like, and you can do that. You could do it from here because you just drive up to the bottom of St. Rollins Pass, Rollinsville Pass, Rollins Pass, just go over. It's only like 10 kilometers as, as the crow flies from the parking lot to uh, where park <laughs> village, but go over the hill, you know? So that'd be a doable thing. Go over the hill, ride the lifts all day, and then finish your day riding back over the hill. That'd be really cool for whenever. Yeah, so now I'm thinking like, oh my God, I want a mountain bike. Because the mountain bike these, these days are so awesome, but then, you know, and I, but like, I want the best mountain bike, but... I mean, I could, I could, I could blow five hundred bucks and get a mountain bike that's a gazillion times better than the one I have. 
the mountain bike I have now is like a eight, 1985 or like 1988 um, Special Edge Stout Jumper. But the ones these days are super fast. 29 inch mountain bike. So yeah, man, I'm like super, uh, super duper duper super duper. I want to get a mountain bike, but yeah. Uh, I think I can deal with not having the very best one in the in the world. Just get something for whenever. I mean, not anytime soon. Pay off my this thing first. It's not even really about money. It's about um, it's about getting done with this. So I'm just trying to um, doing all these trails, you know, like the one day trails and the little single track trails around there. As well as the tiny little itty bitties like uh, the ones in the and um, uh, the flat irons, I've made the trails is down to this like uh, less than a meter, you know, like all through the trees, and it's gonna be cool. <sighs> oh, this is what happens when I wait too long to do my videos. I just all of a sudden I start yawning uncontrollably. So, um, um yeah. It's, I think the reason I didn't do this before was because I just saw it as being way too uh, time consuming. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm finding the trails through the trees, but also the, the Forest Service has their own website where you can click. It's a tiny little window. You can't make it zoom up really big, but you can trace along and follow the trails that are here, up there. And, um, and, um, um, yeah, all the other things, and, uh, today I was also, not just the trails, I was also tracing, uh, the maps, for some reason, they don't have download maps, or on the internet, or whatever, you know, like on the, on Google, with, uh, when you click on borders, or KMZ, I couldn't find anywhere, or even really, regularly good maps, of, uh, of, like, all the forests, you know, like, Arapaho Forest, Roosevelt Forest, uh, and then all the wildernesses inside, like, uh, Indian Peaks Wilderness, and Indian Peaks Wilderness has its own, has a bunch of, is divided into a bunch of different, uh, wilderness, uh, zones. I didn't know, so many. I'm gonna compare it to how big I made, how uh, big the, uh, the uh, the tribes for Boulder Realm are because I made tribes that that are the same size, distance from Boulder as as from Rome and then same size, as real life tribes that existed when Rome ex was was getting its start like um, three thousand three thousand years ago. So yeah, I'm super. I, and I I remember thinking to myself, oh, it's about as big as a uh, as a county. But so, yeah, I guess the tribe's a little bit bigger. But, yeah, I'm going to look and see if there's any tribes that are as small as some of these uh, wilder these wilderness zones and areas because that'd be cool. Maybe I could make it a, a tribe, you know, in my Boulder Rome store. I love matching things. When, I, when I, I'm when i always looking for matching, when I see a match, I, mean, I, I latch onto it. You know, I, I kind of try to make it superstitious, like, oh, magic. And, like, with Boulder and Rome, there are a lot of magical super, um, connections. So, And then, of course, finding uh, Atlantis is amazing, too, so I'll talk about that later. So, um, I'm listening to um, Jane Roberts' book, Seth, Nature of Personal Reality, channel book written in 1974, and it said in the book that she yawned a lot when she did the channeling, and I'm yawning a lot. Maybe I'm channeling. Woo. <laughs> um, I'm doing work that needs to be done. Um... So that's why I never did it. it was just, I just thought it was too time consuming, but it's totally worth it because when you make the uh, polyglon tool on the trails, it's, it's like way better than when you just do the line because you can make it the exact width. And a lot of these trails are very distinct. So you just make it the distinct width. You trace it. And then when you, when you look at it all together, you can, it looks really awesome because you can see it from far away and then you zoom in really fast because Google Earth zooms in and out really fast. You look into it and... You can see it with you. It's just awesome. You can see everything. Anyways, I'm going to keep this under 10 minutes. Talk to you tomorrow.